to in spiritual journey. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a long time and it's not like rehearsed or anything like that, but I do want to talk to you about it. And here is my artwork. <laughs> it's like we're in elementary school. Um, but anyway, this is my artwork and this is the ultimate consciousness of the top. And then this is the, um, the alpha point at the bottom. So this is about like our uh, vibrational scale. Um, we learn in school that everything's made up of, of, of energy, right? So and also like attracts like, what we think we become. We know all that stuff, right? But this is the scale of how it works with your emotions, right? So, and your energy. So I'm gonna try to put it this way. So every person on this planet is vibrating at a, with a very subtle Hertz energy rate of their own personal vibration. And from the moment we're born, our emotions are engaged and our mind then starts learning defense reactions, which are imprinted and stored in our mind's recesses. And as we move through each experience in life, most of our uh, reactions become automatic. Uh, often negative emotional reactions or a learned habit. So that's why it's very important. Like we don't want to stay in those negative emotions down on this scale, because as you can see, um, they are lower vibrational and if like attracts like and we attract what we become we're going to be attracting in more negative energy uh, uh um energy right no more negative vibrations lower vibrations so it's very important to move up this scale and i know it's hard these days um but you hear a lot of people talking about like they want to keep you there because they want to control you so we have to be able to um work with our emotions and control them are we always never uh, is it like ne that we're going to make it never that we're going to uh feel shame or guilt or apathy or grief or fear no we're always going to have that but we have to work our best to control them so we can move up to more of these um you know uh, neutrality courage willingness acceptance reason love joy peace and then the top one is enlightenment right so i'm going to go ahead and read a little bit more of this um information that i got for you and it says um, these negative emotions become stored and we literally are programmed until that program is dissolved and replaced by another. By the time we're an adult, we have had so many unresolved experiences that many of our responses are automatically negative. And then, our, uh, then we perpetuate events for not the best outcome, serving only to reinforce our initial learning from a long time ago. So um, we are caught in a negative emotional event cycle, often based on long forgotten past memories. So some of this stuff is from our past that we've kind of just buried away, right? So we have to start breaking this uh, constant consistency of these lower emotional reactions by choosing to act from love as often as you can. Your positive nature and behavior raises the vib vibration of others involved. The goal is to be living life as much as possible from a place of love. So if you, again, like, so if you start living from more of these things, you know, if you're in shame, if you're in guilt, if you're in apathy, if you're in grief, if you're in fear, if you're in desire, if you're in angry pride, those are more the lower, lower vibrational. And then we start getting into a little better, like the courage, neutrality, willingness, and then acceptance when we accept all things as they are. Uh, kind of going with that flow reason love joy peace and then the ultimate is that enlightenment so we have to start raising it somehow to get out of that right so as the vibration analysis rate gets lower our consciousness and ability to deal with things positively is reduced limiting your perception of the narrow band of reaction lower band things seem harder to overcome choosing a determined way to observe yourself and how you react to situations and objectively look at why we felt um, and reacted that way. We seek ways to dissolve those negative emotions hooked to the past events and greatly improve our life experiences. Live much happier and your interactions with others improve. Wider options and opportunities appear. So you want to strive for this higher vibrational, okay? And if you, I just want to have a few analysis for this too because if you... If you think about it, if you're in these lower vibrations, what happened to my other one? If you're in these lower vibrations, like it says, you know, like attracts like, what you think you become, all these lower vibrations right here. So just like this magnet, right? This magnet, see this little magnet? So you're walking along and you're feeling down in the dumps in here like this. Do you think you're going to attract somebody up in this level? Are you? 
here comes this happy person you're like you're, you're like down here on the wheel on the cycle you're down say maybe in fear and grief and apathy desire and lust and guilt oh, you're all down in here and this person is more into uh you know cur uh now let's put it up a little higher they're more into joy and love and reason right so you come along do you think you're going to uh be attracted to each other hmm it's going to be just like these two magnets you see how like they're off off and you can't put them together they're off they're not going to meet there's no energy there to uh, meet but then you're down here and here comes somebody else here comes somebody else i think i might be able to look this way so here comes somebody else down in that level they're all down in here too and even though you might want this person more up in this level what do you think you're going to do when you get to this person like attracts like it's going to click right together see that that's how it works you have to be in the same energy and vibration or pull to be able to hook up with people because it's just going to fall away yeah you might briefly get in with this person but if you're still in this lower vibration you're it, it, something's going to fall apart it's not going to work okay all right and also i have another analogy because i talked the other day about the circle of life which is all about our physical our spiritual our emotional um uh, you know, our family life, all those things that come together, our family life, our relationships, our, our, our social life, our career. If we're not aligned to them and we're not feeling vibrational, vibrationally aligned with those things, uh, it's like a piece of the puzzle is missing. And if one of those things is off, which there's always, there's never all of them perfect, but if one of those things are off, it's just like this puzzle here. I don't, it's like a loud clipboard, but can you see this puzzle? So if one of these things are off, I'm going to show you just like this puzzle then part of the picture is missing. It's not complete, right? So we want to try to keep them as balanced and on that balance level as possible, all areas, okay? So just like if your physical um, body is something's off, you know, uh, emotionally, you might be stressed out, you might be worried, um, spiritually, you might be doubtful, things like that. So it's all interconnected. That's why it's good to be um, take care of your body and your mind and your spirituality and all that and have it as aligned as possible. Because like I said, any parts of these pieces, if they're off, something's off within you. So it's best to do that. You can do that by the things you eat, taking care of yourself, um, as well as, you know, meditation, of course, and um, def believe it or not, definitely the um, vibrational music, like that hurts music. Um, there's different uh, frequencies for each area, like your chakras, you want to have your chakras balanced and stuff like that. So anyway, I know it's not easy to do because like it said, it's old patterns of belief and habits, but you got to figure out some way to move out of these energies, these, these lower vibrational energies and move up here, okay? So that's why a lot of times when we are going through our awakening and in the arcana of the soul, it's very hard because we're in these energies and we're slowly cracking open to the higher energies and letting this stuff fall away. So it's like relearning things and things again, right? So that is your message today. I just wanted to share that with you. I hope you didn't mind my drawing too much. But anyway, this is the alpha point. This is the omega this is ultimate consciousness. But even like if you're just in this area, and as you notice, it is just like the chakras, root chakra, your foundation, survival mode. Then we move up to sacral, solar plexus, heart chakra. Heart chakra is the middle ground between the lower lower chakras and lower vibrationals, as well as the higher vibrationals or higher chakras. And then we get into the throat chakra, the... Um, uh, third eye chakra and the crown chakra so that's where you're trying to aim all right so uh, of course like I said you have to have these lower vibrational or lower energies or chakras met your foundation you have to have a home to live in things like that you have to be safe so you can move up that level so you know whatever way you need to do do it that's what you need to do right and like I said these emotions here you need to stop you know realize you got to start realizing that when you're feeling guilty for everything um, so a lot of times we feel guilty for reasons we don't even, we, sh we shouldn't even feel guilty for. But if you're living in these energies, you're going to keep your vibration low. So anyway, that is a little spiel for you. Um, I should get a gold star for my, 
drawing <laughs> now these were used with color uh, colored pencils so they probably would have popped out a little more if i used something different but anyway that's your message for today i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got something out of it thanks so much for watching take care bye